Hey guys, it's Tia, welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you websites I've picked out where you can get high quality, free print on demand resources that you can also use for all sorts of creative projects. I'll also be showing you how you can use them for free without any kind of design software like Photoshop, for example. All you need for this video is Wi-Fi. Now in the past, I've promoted some subscription websites I thought were worth spending money on. For example, Placeit for mockups and Creative Fabrica for fonts and graphics, which by the way, just to put it out there, you can use my link below to get everything on their website for just $1 for a whole month before you start paying full price. You'd normally only get full access for a week. So make sure to use my link if you want that full month. I think it's a smacking deal if you want it, but don't worry. I hear you guys, $1 is still $1 and the title of this video says free, so that's what you'll be getting. Now, I started designing and selling print-on-demand products on Redbubble, Etsy and TeePublic around two years ago. I uploaded thousands of listings on those websites and now I'm making passive income every day from my online stores. When I started out, I didn't even have Photoshop, Illustrator, my iPad. Um, all I had was my laptop, which was old and kept breaking down, so... I actually had to do a lot of designing on computers in my local library or even at school. So I use completely free resources online to make my first few sales. I know a lot of you guys are in a similar situation, can't be affording to spend any money. So I want to reassure you that it's entirely possible um, to make sales for free. You do not need to spend a lot of money on paid tools at least until you start making sales and you want to increase the amount of money you're making or save time uh, or both. But before I go any further, I want to stress the importance of keyword or niche research and search engine optimization, especially if you're making designs using just free tools, because let's face it, your designs probably won't be as competitive as someone using paid tools. It's just how it is realistically. So make sure you're designing in keywords that are in high demand and don't have too much competition to maximize your chance of getting seen by customers and making sales. I already have a lot of videos on that on my channel. Also, there's no point in telling you where to find all these things if you have no idea how to use them and actually put them together to make a design that has a decent chance of selling. So let me talk about that really quickly. Now I've always designed using either pre-made graphics or a vector program to make my own graphics paired with a photo editing program. So back in the day it was free resources and Inkscape plus Photopea. Now it's some free, some paid resources with Illustrator and Photoshop, okay? So vector plus photo editing program. I use Procreate very rarely to draw stuff on my iPad, but most of my designs are text-based with a splash of graphics added in where appropriate, um, not like an actual piece of artwork or drawing uh, I've done on the product. Anyway, my point is that I started off with free versions of all the things that I now pay for. So Photopea is basically like free Photoshop. You can use it straight in your browser. In this video, I'll be showing you some serious time-saving hacks with this tool. It doesn't restrict your file size and quality. There's no silly watermark when you download or anything like that. It's pretty much, as I said, a free Photoshop. Uh, I'm actually surprised something like this exists because it's a really high quality graphics tool. Granted, there are features like you know artboards and subject select and random other advanced things that Photoshop has, which Photopea doesn't, but it's not going to be exactly the same, obviously, but for print on demand purposes, it's pretty much Photoshop. It lets you remove backgrounds, change colors, distort shapes, use layers, uh, select stuff and everything you need to design and I think it's just absolutely amazing. You can copy and paste stuff directly into Photopea as a new layer and this is a really quick way to do things. Honestly, I still use it like if Photoshop doesn't load on my laptop because I haven't cleaned my files um, but I need to get something done ASAP like a thumbnail, I'll literally just do it in Photopea instead and I'll be showing you how to use it throughout this video. Um, but the main thing you need to know is when you find the resources you want to use, you can download them or screen cap them and copy and paste uh, or upload them directly into this free tool. And that's how you can build your design. An alternative free option is GIMP, which you can download, but I prefer Photopea. I think it's just easier because you can access it straight in your browser. One disadvantage is that you can't save the designs. You can only download them. So that's something to be aware of if you have dodgy internet. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into the free stuff. So firstly, fonts. Now, as someone that mainly sells text-based designs, 
great fonts are a must. The websites I'm about to list now offer very high quality free fonts and I've selected these because they all have fonts that are free for commercial use, but this might not apply to every font on those sites. So before you use anything, make sure to check they have a commercial license. So we've got dafont.com, fontspace.com, fontsquirrel.com, the freebie section of Creative Fabrica fonts, 1001fonts.com and of course canva.com. Most of these have font previews where you can type the text you need and it will show a preview. The absolute fastest way in my experience to make a text-based design using any free font uh, is not to download it but to type the text you need in a preview. Um, you just zoom in to the max possible amount your computer lets you, screen cap that, copy and paste that into Photopea, remove the background using the magic wand tool, after that, it might still be a bit blurry around the edges, but now you hit control, you click the layer your font design is on, that will select the entire shape, and now go to select, modify, and then contract by one or two pixels, depending on you know, the size of uh, your selection, inverse selection, which selects uh, everything outside of it, and then you hit backspace or delete. And this should give you nice clean edges in the fastest way possible. Alternatively, you can go to select color range and then shadows uh, if your font is like completely black, then you make a new layer and paint over the selection. Obviously, if you're looking for the sharpest design possible, you can download the font and import it into Photopea using the load font button. Now for mockups, these are important because you want to showcase how your design looks on a product if you're selling you know, on somewhere like Etsy, uh, your own website or promoting on social media. A lot of these websites will let you upload images and then edit the mock-up in the browser, which is probably the best option. But some of these will be a Photoshop mock-ups, in which case you can upload the images into Photopea and then edit them that way. So for mock-ups, we've got free-mockup.com, smartmockups.com, the free section of Placeit, unblast.com, pixabay.com, where you can pretty much find um, any image you need, and unsplash.com. And lastly, graphics. Again, I've included websites that do have free commercial licensing on some of the graphics, but you always want to check. So we've got the freebies section of Creative Fabrica, um, Canva again, freevector.com, pixabay, and freepick.com again. Now, as I said, with fonts, you can do the same thing with graphics, which is to screen cap them, copy and paste them into Photopea, remove the background, then do the whole you know, selection thing to make the edges sharper. You can change the color of the graphics using the bucket tool or the select tool, um, outline them and do all sorts of things in Photopea. So this is a really fast and free way of editing graphics and putting them together in text to make a fun looking design that stands out. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite free print on demand resources in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.